When do you stop taking work? Have you ever experienced that? Well, Are you full? When is enough enough? When do you have enough work? When do you stop taking work? Have you ever experienced that? Well, we do every year. Um, we have a, I would say, three to five percent, oops, excuse me, three to five percent attrition rate um, in, in, in our business. And attrition rate is uh, uh, just you know the, the people that fall off um, due to either uh, death or um, we have a large military community so you know they, they move on they PCS um, move to other duty stations um, and some of them that we uh, honestly <clears throat> just uh, are not compatible with so we just you know go ahead and you know we stop the service see service with them but um, when is enough enough? Um, I am to my full point right now. And my average full point is 18 to 19 properties a day uh, for four days. That's it. That's it. Yes, I can move on to five days, but no, I'm comfortable. Again, this is, this is something that, that we've been doing for, for, for years and it's been working out pretty well for us. So, uh, I am currently full. So, instead of uh, lying to people, I guess, or, or having them, you know, giving them false hope, uh, I just put that, you know, we are full. Simple as that. We are full. And if for any reason something happens to the point where that, uh, yeah, I'm doing this with my cell phone and I just had a call from one of my customers. Um, because uh, this time of the year, well, you know, in June, we usually go weekly, and he just wanted to make sure that he was in uh, on the weekly schedule. Um, yeah, but when is enough enough? Um, yeah, we're currently uh, doing 18 properties a day for four days, and uh, all my current customers are good paying customers. They pay on time. Uh, I have no issues. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's not about upselling also, you know, most of my customers, you know, we get their shrubs done, we get, you know, pine straw, weed control, all that good stuff. But I have some customers that just basically want mowing and um, I don't mind, you know, I, I, I love I love just going in and mowing because again, um, they pay, you know, the payment is on time. I don't have any issues. Um, I've had a couple of issues with customers that we do, uh, uh, you know, we, we upsell too, but you know, that, you know, that constant reminder, a, hey, um, you know, you, your, your payment is due, you know, or, 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 you know, we, 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 one of them, uh, I got his credit card and this is the second time, um, that the credit card wasn't working. So he gave me a brand new credit card. So I have no issues with it, but I, you know, I told the customer, I say, listen, um, Next time, you know, we're going to just have to, you know, cut sling, um, just part ways, you know, because again, if I'm there every week maintaining your property, I want to be paid and I want to make sure that once I, I, I debit your credit card, it's working out, you know, the credit card is working. Um, this is the second time. So, and again, you know, I, I, I'm a business guys, you know, we can all say, you know, yeah, but you know, give them a chance or whatever the case might be. I'm, I'm in a position where, you know, we, we can't do that. Um, you know, I have guys that I have to pay and I can't tell them, uh, well, you know, I'm going to pay you uh, tomorrow because, uh, you know, Mr. Such and Such or Mrs. Such and Such didn't pay me. Um, yeah. 
Uh, so that's where we're at. We are full and um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think, man. Um, do you have a, a do you have a certain cap to how many you'll do per day and how many customers are you taking on? Or do you just go, 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 go? Um, we have, again, our cap is 18. It used to be 21, 22, but you know, the reality is guys, you have guys that are working for you. And, 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 and as much as you may think that they love this business as much as you do, these guys have families. These guys have a life. Um, you can't keep working guys from sun up to sundown, you know, every day. It, you know, it, it gets boring. You know, you and I, I know I get unmotivated sometimes because, you know, this job is repetitious. Um, is extremely repetitious. And, you know, you have to find ways to motivate yourself. You have to find ways to motivate your crew. And, 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 and do what you do because you know going to the same properties every week as much as you may say and think that you love this it becomes repetitious you know and that's one thing that I, I don't want I don't want to make this uh, repetitious you know so yeah um, and again yeah I think that that's why I think that uh, my guy's been with me so long um, Steven been with me for the past six years now, going on seven years. Um, he's my full-time guy. And then uh, Quest. Quest been with me for the past three years. Um, and and we'll see, he just graduated from high school, so we'll see what he wants to do. Um, my goal is I'm trying to push Quest to, you know, just take some time off, but go to school. Um, as much as I would love to have him, I believe that he's young. He just graduated from high school. Um, take a little break if, if that's fine but go back go back because the moment you wait or you take that pause you get comfortable with the paycheck and and school is on the back burner so I, I, I wholeheartedly believe in education so um, I'm gonna push him I'm gonna push him to go to school uh, I also gave him an incentive you know I will pay a class for him um, you know every uh, semester I don't mind guys because you know again the guy works pretty hard for me he does a damn good job and I you know I appreciate everything that he's, do he's doing for me so yeah um, so yes that's why I think a lot of our uh, guys stay w with me <clears throat> a little bit longer the um, my other two guys again you know Jerome and, and, and Quest with a Z they're, they're just part-time and I utilize them you know when I need them or you know certain times or whatever the case might be but no right now I have Jaquest and I have Steven and, and you know they're doing what they're supposed to do but yeah um, I'm again I'm bearing off to something else guys today is an extremely cloudy day let me show you hopefully you can see it it's been raining off and on throughout the uh, the morning so uh, I went ahead and call it and uh, Basically, you know, we're all caught up, you know, with the rain and everything. So um, I have four days scheduled for Boeing and I have Friday off. So we're taking uh, we're taking Friday right now and utilizing it as, you know, the Thursday. Um, the weather predicts here in Savannah, um, it's supposed to be, you know, a little rain here and there. The whole day is going to be off and on rain. As a matter of fact, it's drizzling right now. But uh, tomorrow and on until I want to say Saturday evening it's supposed to be nice and sunny cloudy so yeah that's why um, I do what I do when I try to be as you know stress-free as possible but alright guys um it's like six minutes and 43 seconds 44 now so guys um, let me know let me know in the uh, in the link below to have a cap for how many properties you do per day and have you ever just Put on your answering service like I did, we're full. Um, and again, this is where you leave your comment, and we can learn from each other. There's no, there's no right way, guys. Remember, there's no right way to do this. 
we all do the same task, but we all do it differently because we're in different locations and we all have different needs and we all have different drives. So what is your cap and, and, and you know, how do you navigate around your cap? Um, and again, I, I can easily jump on a trailer and, and go out there and mow, but since November of last year, I've I only been out there two times to actually go out and mow, and that's only to make a video for you guys. But the reality is, it stops, it stops. Um, I'm gonna give Quest or Steven the camera and have him do some filming on, on, on you know, <laughs> out there mowing and doing all that stuff but no i I'm, I'm not going out there unless someone is sick or there's a need uh, other than that i'm gonna just chill watch some youtube videos go to the gym do whatever the heck i feel like it because again like i said before guys i'm retired from the military and this is my job after the military so um you know families first hey as a matter of fact guys um thank you for for the great response to my video um the last video that i did in, re in regards to putting your prices on your uh on your website um i went down to atlanta uh tuesday of last week and i just came back yesterday and uh, yeah, my son got accepted to uh, Clark Atlanta University. Well, he got accepted to Morehouse. He got accepted to FAMU, Georgia State. But uh, he decided to, you know, this is where he wants to go. So we had a, uh, I guess, a, a orientation because he's going in the fall. So I'm extremely, extremely proud. And he has a couple of scholarships too. And again, I'm just sharing with you guys, you know, my YouTube family. I'm, I'm extremely happy for him. But okay, now remember, the question is not whether I should expand or not. The question is not whether I should hire more guys or hire, again, more personnel to go out there and pick up more lawns. That's that's not my question. Again, let me know, guys. Uh, put in a link below. Let me know if you have a cap to your day. And, uh, yeah, let, just let me know. Other than that, guys, thank you. Let's learn from each other. Let's stay motivated. Pop smoke.